with three weeks to go I'm kind of in this super awkward stage where I'm trying to use up everything but then I start running out of something and I'm like will I need to buy more of that like last night I used up the rest of our chicken stock and I'm like three weeks I'll probably use like four teaspoons of chicken stock in that time I don't think it's really worth getting more but then there's stuff like our laundry powder where I'm like oh, it's gonna be close are we gonna have any left or are we gonna use it up all before we go and it seems kind of silly to buy more just for like one or two scoops but I'm sure I can like borrow some of someone or something the garden desperately needs to be weeded <laughs> but we're leaving that till just before we leave so that we don't have to then do it again collecting stuff to take down to the tip this is my sewing room we've started storing some boxes in here I officially sewed my last thing the other day so that's why we're now just storing stuff in here preparing to go means that we are cleaning things that do not usually get cleaned for example our oven check out how clean that is <laughs> fridge look how amazingly clean that fridge is this also means I'm cleaning things I have never cleaned since I moved into this house like the top of those cupboards which are disgusting that is gonna be a really annoying cleaning job because all that dust is kind of mixed with grease so it's like stuck on Something that I know full well about myself is that I am very grateful for everything I own and I'm very positive. Now I've discovered in the last few days where this is a little bit of a flaw because we are renting our house out fully furnished and I personally think all my furniture is just fantastic and I love it but Lately I've been having to look at it through the eyes of someone who will be renting and someone else staying here and <laughs> yeah like okay for example this gorgeous little cupboard which I love it's you know for my little girls it's got pink little drawers and if you turn them around they're actually blue on the other side which is super cool and it's small and it's just perfect but then I kind of look at it and you know it's got some bits flaking off here and it's got some stains that are permanently on there and that back bit's kind of fallen off and doesn't clip in properly and I'm like oh is that actually okay to leave as you know a piece of furniture for our future tenants? This cupboard that my husband said was dodgy and I completely disagreed and I'm like what are you on about yeah okay I've had to concede now because again I'm now looking at it through the eyes of our future tenants and it yeah like it's it's pretty scratched up and um, like yeah there's a bit missing there and there's actually a hole in the back there and one of the locks that's supposed to be on there is missing and like honestly but I'm just so grateful and I appreciate everything I have and I see the best in everything so I always looked at this cupboard as just really practical convenient I think we got it for free so that's probably why it's not you know the best but yeah again then I think uh, we're running to tenants they might also look at it and be like, eh, that's a bit dodgy. We ended up replacing the couch because it was, uh, yeah, it had had its day. So our tenants will have a nicer, newer couch. Yep. So final goodbye thank you to our couch. So one of the interesting things about preparing to go away is using up our food. This is leading to a couple of rather interesting meals. So I had some tuna I wanted to use up and a salad dressing and some beetroot. And so I've kind of just, I had some cucumber and carrots so I just cut that up and I've just made a kind of interesting salad thing for lunch and it's like, yeah what can I throw together from what we've got left and I have some food to use up so I mean really we do go through a fair bit of food a week main thing is all the baking stuff so I did some baking today we got some cookies and muffins they'll be for the kids school lunches and so I used up the last of our brown sugar most of our other sugar a fair bit of our flour and like nuts and seeds and stuff 
So we're getting there with that. Okay, so what are we trying to use up now? We've got some asparagus, some tuna bake, some cottage cheese, and some tuna. See, that's not so random. The tuna goes with the tuna bake. So I ended up adding in a potato and there's a lovely random but delicious meal. I'm sure it will be great. And I even have some leftovers. I've got a promotion here that I would usually be totally up for. All I have to do is spend $60 in one transaction for four weeks in a row, which I would easily spend on my shopping. And then I get $50 off, which is really quite a good deal. However, we're not going to be here for the four weeks, so I'm not actually going to be doing that. Advice though, don't try and travel during COVID. Oh, yeah, it gosh. sucks. <laughs> it's really expensive <clears throat> and complicated. No one knows what's happening. The weird state of our lives at the moment kind of like this odd combination of random stuff being everywhere but there actually not being that much stuff <laughs> so like here i'm uh washing the curtains um like we've got just a few random books out like i've packed up the laundry stuff but the box is still kind of sitting there random toys just sitting around that i'm not exactly sure what to do with Okay, our craft shelf is pretty bare, our linen cupboard's pretty bare. Started packing a few things for the kids, getting their, getting all their clothes out. Stuff is getting stored. It's like this weird combination of moving and going on holidays, but not. We're setting up the house to rent, so Things like all these butterflies and stuff need to get taken down and certain furniture needs to be taken out, but then some of it's getting left. And then like, I still need clothes for the kids for the next few days, but I do need to start packing. And then there's like this stuff that we're not taking overseas. So it's like clothes that the kids are gonna need when they get back. We're probably only going for six months and yeah, I don't know whether it's better or worse than moving house. <laughs> And here's like Zoe's tiny little collection of clothes that she's just got for a couple of days before we leave. And that's Ben's little lot of clothes to do him for the next few days. And then that's most of the clothes that he's taking to Thailand. So really not much. We're planning on buying stuff while we're over there because kids clothes are like really cheap. The house is so empty. And yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Yep. children are all sleepy. 